All right, my biggest bismuth pour so far. This one weighs in at over 10 pounds. Here's the mold for it. And the secret is to get the temperature control just right. Um, and um, actually, you have to dial it up and down to get the crystal um, to, uh, to form on the back. Let me see if I can show you guys the back side of this. I'm really proud of this, but a lot of hard work uh, getting the temperature just right for over the course of 45 minutes. Now the reason I poured a Buddha is because one of my favorite sagas of all time, I used to love to watch Unsolved Mysteries, and there was a treasure hunter from the Philippines who had found Yamashita's tr uh, treasures of during the Second World War. At the time, the Philippines was under a dictatorship and um, President Marcos had uh, soldiers break into uh, his home and confiscate it. And um, uh, the, the Buddha has uh, never surfaced to this date. Uh, and um, obviously not long after that, uh, he was deposed, right? You can think of them as having a January 6th kind of event. Uh, and when, when I saw January 6th, that was the first thing that came to mind actually. Uh, President Marcos, um, exile from the Philippines and uh, he when when he died a few years later he was worth more than the entire country of the Philippines now I can see history kind of repeating itself right when when bismuth becomes important for nuclear warfare I can see Hillary Clinton breaking in and taking all my bismuth and selling it to Russia who will then use it to make uh, nuclear weapons or maybe to make polonium-210 to uh, assassinate uh, our American leaders, right? I was a little bit surprised that the Russians also call it polonium. I would think they would have a different name for it. But it just goes to show that in science, right, chemistry and space travel, we get along very well, right? It's only, it's only here on Earth that we get into all sorts of conflict, right? All right, I'm still looking forward to pouring the half-ton uh, bismuth. Uh, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if, um, see, when Marcos confiscated the Buddha, he replaced it with a fake one and returned it to uh, the treasure hunter. I wouldn't be surprised if that fake one were made of bismuth because it's very easy to pour. And um, although getting that much bismuth in a short amount of time might be the tricky part, right? Uh, I, I do hope to pour one out of bismuth and maybe copper as well. Uh, if anybody has any suggestions on how to do that. I already have all the copper I need to uh, do the uh, copper one. Bismuth, I might have to uh, source a little bit more, right? All right. Thanks for watching.